Hello everybody, this is Chun Wei. Today I'm going to try to introduce to you a programming language which is Harbor Mini UI Extended Edition. It is uh, informally called Mini GUI. It's an environment for developing desktop application in Windows. And it is a combination of two languages for the back-end programming and data handling yeah, using Harbor, an open source XBase language. For those who have been using database in the 80s, T-based language has been very popular and after that there were another language which is Clipper which was put into very good use by many and very popular at one time and when the Microsoft developed into Windows DOS based programs were most of them outdated and uh, there were a group of enthusiasts hobbies they developed Harbor which is which they claim they are totally compatible to Clipper for the front end there is a GUI a set of simple commands to the Windows API based on VB Rapid Q styles. All GUI objects can be created and managed with very simple code. And we can develop application which is GUI in Windows form or in command line form. Okay, to start with, we need to download and install this application. So, Mini GUI uses Harbor and Bolin C++ by default and to use both of these we need to go download the current version is 21 July and uh, for normal users we just download from this uh, location I just download it. I have already downloaded so I don't do it again. And then also we need to download BCC. This is version 5.8. After we have downloaded both of this software, we need to install them. For Harbor Mini GUI Extended Edition 21.7 we just have to run the exe and it will install the program onto c we go to c our c drive under mini gui so you will install here and for our bcc bolen we have to make sure it, it is installed into Bolin folder and under another folder which is BCC 5.8 for those who have been using BCC 5.5 you can install parallel both of them here and that's it okay once you have already installed we can run the IDE HMD IDE SMG and this IDE will assist us in developing the software okay and for a beginner for for a beginners we can 
try to open projects which came together with this uh, application. Say we start with uh, this hello. There's a hello HBP. We open it, and then actually we can see the form here the form and there is a word hello world here so we can try to compile by running it after compiling successfully you will pop up the windows yeah this is the one so okay that's for today an easy introduction and you can try using this software on your own and for the next coming video we may discuss how to utilize this IDE to develop the software that we are interested in.